Welcome back to Fall, Days 6 and 7 of the Stardew Valley Min-Max and 100% Perfection Guide, where we are trying to earn as much money as we can and complete the perfection goals all in as little time as we can. Previously in Fall, we were able to plant 960 pumpkins as well as some other crops and catch all of the Fall exclusive fish. We still need to make a bunch of kegs to craft all of our star fruit into wine, but the next big event will probably be on day 9 when our pumpkin harvest is ready, but until then, we will utilize this time with some skull cavern dives, and today day 6 won't be anything too special, so we'll skip over most of it, but day 7 ends up being my best skull cavern dive yet, so we'll get to that very shortly. For now, before we head over to Skull Cavern on this day, we are going to harvest any crops we have ready. I will replant most of them, like the amaranth, we already had some seeds, I bought about two rounds of everything. Likely will later, for like amaranth and bok choys and stuff, we'll put something more useful there. As for the sunflowers, you, did, you could notice that I planted fairy roses there instead, as fairy roses can be used for the fairy dust way down the line, so it's not a bad idea to have a stock of those right now. And I really don't find sunflowers too useful. Haley does love them, but as I've said before, coconuts are much better because we will be able to get iridium quality coconuts eventually. We're gonna finish up our farm chores by tending to our animals. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and warp on over to the desert. Now, the farm chores we did tend to costed us a little bit of time, it's already 8 o'clock, but we will go straight into Skull Cavern, and we're going to go ahead and skip over. There is one part that I'd like to show, pretty much the only notable part of this dive, but right here, check out all of these Iridium Bats. Iridium Bats really aren't too hard to deal with, they do have a lot of health and they deal a lot of damage, but they move rather slow, and you can kind of gather them up like this and then hit them all at once. So. That's pretty nice. They do drop quite an assortment of items, including battery packs, energy tonics, iridium bars, iridium ore, life elixir, mega bombs, and solar essence. So they do have quite an assortment of stuff. And with that, we've skipped over to the end of this day. We're going to pass out right here. We weren't able to get to that crate right there. Hopefully that wouldn't have been the lucky ring. We still really want that lucky ring, so maybe today we'll get one. We'll see. But anyways, we're on to the next day, which is Sunday, day 7 of fall. We're going to go ahead and get started right away with coffeeing up spicy eel. And of course, we have to check the queen of sauce recipe, tortillas, but we already know how to craft them. Probably we bought the recipe from Gus. And look at that, it is a super luck day, so we'll definitely be spending the day at Skull Cavern. We're going to go ahead and grab two magic rock candies, we've been saving some up now. And it's best, in my opinion, and as you'll see from today, just of how much luck we have, that I do think it's best to use two magic rock candies in one day, rather than spreading two across two days. And if you think about it, it makes sense, because the more luck we have, the further down we'll be able to get, and the quicker we'll be able to get down. So real quick, before we head on over, we're just going to go ahead and organize our inventory and grab everything we do need for it. We're gonna keep all ores like coal, copper, iron, gold, stone, and we'll keep mob drops that we'll get like solar essence and void essence. I'm not gonna take any iridium to start just because we won't use any iridium necessarily at Skull Cavern. Things like coal and those ores and the solar essence and void essence we might use to craft bombs, which is why I want to take those. Things like stone we want. I grabbed a whole stack because I'm going to craft some staircases. And of course we have some jade. Today is Sunday. We can buy some staircases from the desert trader. I did have another crystallarium, so I did expand our crystallarium setup for five. Eventually we're going to get a shed, fill it with crystallariums for with jade, just so we can get plenty of staircases. And with that, we've grabbed everything we need. I did have a few salads that I'll use for energy restoration, as well as the life elixir and energy tonic. So we do have a good amount of stuff, so there will be a lot of just tanking damage to get down faster. 
And after stocking up on stuff from the Desert Trader, we're here on the first floor. It's a star floor, which is a pretty good floor to start on. We just bomb the middle and we do get a staircase, so that's nice. On the next floor here, these oval floors have so much dirt, which rocks cannot spawn on. So when there's not a whole lot of rocks to mine, or when the floor is like long, like the last one was right there, I'm going to go ahead and just skip it, staircase it, because we want to get down fast. Right here, however, it is a larger floor, but there are plenty of rocks and there are ore nodes, there's gold, so it's never a bad idea to pick up gold. It just, we just lay down a bomb, it goes pretty quick, and we get our gold back that we paid for that bomb. And of course, too, we got a staircase out of it, so we're already down to floor five, and this floor does extend out quite a bit, so I do want to just craft a staircase and not worry about it. This floor is a weirdly shaped one, but there was quite a bit of rocks. This one right here, there's a nice rock cluster right there, so I'm able to just blow it up and get a staircase. Same thing here. And of course, the infested floors, even on a casual run, I'm going to be skipping these floors. So of course we skip it on our probably the most hardcore Skull Cavern dive we're trying yet. As you can see, even though this floor right here, I can just walk to the right and get a guaranteed staircase. No, I'm placing the staircase right there because we're trying to go as fast as possible when there's a big cluster of gold like that i will go ahead and bomb it because gold's pretty valuable it's what fuels our mega bombs which we definitely need a lot of and look at that not so great look here we i have wanted to not skip over this floor because usually there's some crates over to that area but there wasn't i guess there are some crates here so I will go ahead and probably open those crates. I do want to get myself a lucky ring. Again, any crates I see, I'm just going to go for it. I'm not using any predictor to see what's inside of the crates, like the map predictor or anything. So we're just going to try to get lucky for these. And finally, we have some holes. So before that, I think we just went straight down staircases. We didn't really get any holes. So that hole helped a lot. We're now on floor 24 and it's not even 9 a.m. So not too bad. This floor, there wasn't a whole lot of rocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. This one though is very nice because we can just bomb it, but I will eat that magic rock candy first because we will eat two today. So I wanna eat one pretty early. And then once this one wears out, I'll eat the other one. So I can pretty much have these buffs for the whole entire day. Hopefully we can get some good luck from these magic rock candies so far We're just still plowing down at a pretty steady rate skipping floors when we need to and really the key to just getting down fast is Well, obviously if you just staircased all the way down that would be the easiest But if you don't have infinite staircases, which we really don't right now I don't want to buy a bunch of stone and craft staircases or anything so we just kind of have to weigh out the pros and cons of each floor and determine if we should staircase it and skip over it or not right here we get ourselves a treasure floor it's just a seed maker which we can just craft so not too exciting but we'll take it i guess we do need to focus a lot on inventory management you can see me just throwing out a bunch of stuff right here including gemstones because we don't really have room for a whole lot so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of what we need to and with our gold trash can, we do get a little bit of money back, so, you know, not the worst. And here we are. This is probably the worst floor that there is. This floor is the tallest floor. It goes down so far, which is bad, because that means you cannot see a lot of it at once. So, if there's just like a random staircase all the way at the bottom that was already uncovered, I wouldn't be able to see it. So, right here, I honestly am making a huge mistake by trying to get a staircase i really should have just skipped it over with my crafted staircases but that's okay we did get down in a okay amount of time and we're just still moving along we get some holes which are always nice that one only dropped us three levels but that's fine and this oval floor normally i would skip but when there are clusters of gold and stuff like this and like on that floor there was some nodes I will go ahead and try to blow up the nodes because we are going for ore, so if I do see iridium nodes or gold ore or whatever I want, even iron and copper sometimes if there's some nodes, I will go ahead and just bomb them because we want all of the ores. We're going to need a lot of everything for crafting things later like 
kegs, crystallariums, and all of that good stuff. And of course, the most important thing is we need to craft more bombs, and we need ores to do that. So if we aren't stopping for the ores, then we're going to run out of materials to craft our bombs with. Anyways, we're still moving along, getting staircases pretty quickly. But every once in a while, I do run into a slight halt, like right here. I really should just staircase it. There's only one iridium node. But for some reason I blow it up and look at that, we only blow up a few rocks so I don't get a staircase and I end up staircasing anyway so again it's better to just staircase right off the bat. You'll more likely get more iridium like further down you go so don't go out of your way for just one iridium node, it's not worth it. And we also aren't really short on staircases or anything, we still have over 30, we're already on floor 76 so I think we're doing pretty well. If I had to do this over again, I would definitely be a little bit more generous with my staircases. I think I'm doing a pretty good job with bombs here. I'm not really mining anything manually. I'm using bombs for the most part. But anyway, we have gotten down to another treasure floor. We get an orange sapling, which we'll end up buying at least one, probably three of each of the fruit trees just to put in our greenhouse. So I guess that saves us, what, 4,000 G? Right here there was a pretty sizable chunk of iridium, so that's always nice. We didn't get a staircase slow, and there are quite a bit of enemies here. I probably just should have crafted a staircase, but it looks like there was already one for us all the way in the bottom right. Again, that's the problem with these floors that are lengthy and you can't really see a whole lot of the map at once. You don't know if there's a staircase and when there's already a staircase that spawned there's a much less chance of uh, another one spawning so generally when the floors are small because there's going to be less rocks and a lot less space so that you could see all at once it'll be a lot easier to get down faster so right here this is going to be good all right so look at that a lucky ring but where am i going uh hello what am i doing and I went down the staircase and did not pick up that lucky ring. So obviously at the time that I played this, like several months ago, I must have just not seen that lucky ring and just just completely just ignored it, went down the staircase. I must have not seen it. I don't know. I guess I wasn't paying attention. But after rewatching it and I saw that, it, it kind of hurt. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. At the time, obviously, I had no idea, so... I just went on with the dive, and I guess that's what we'll do right now. We're just going to go on with the dive. It's about time to eat our second magic rock candy. Maybe down the line the game pities us, and we'll get another chance at a lucky ring. But let's just push that aside and go on with the run. We've passed floor 100. Still no Mr. Key until we unlock secret notes, but now we're on floor 101. We're making pretty good progress. It's only 6 p.m., so... That's really not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and bomb right here. There's a decent amount of rocks, so why not? And what's that? It's another lucky ring, although at the time, obviously, I thought this was my first lucky ring, which technically it is since I didn't pick up that other one. So we're just going to pretend that other one didn't happen. We're just going to go along with it. We got this lucky ring right here. We can now get plus one luck whenever we want. I will probably do a lot of ring swapping, so maybe when I go into a staircase and go to the next floor, I want to put on the lucky ring so that we have a better luck when entering the next floor. And I should hopefully utilize that strategy a bit later, so we'll get to that when we get to that. The red slime egg I throw out for some reason. At the time, I didn't realize how much they actually sold for, so it may have been smarter to hold on to that and just sell it straight up rather than um, put it in my trash can. But oh well, right here we got a spiral floor and another spiral floor, two spiral floors in a row. Just because I wanted that iridium node and that crate over there, I went ahead and mined some rocks and look at that, we got a hole, so pretty lucky right there. One thing I haven't talked about yet is in my hotbar, my fifth slot, I do use that as kind of a multi-purpose slot where I just put like bombs if I'm about to place bombs down or especially with a staircase. You see I have the stack of staircase and you may notice that rather than dragging the whole stack of staircases, I just 
take that one staircase because often if you're right clicking and you go really fast and you have the whole stack of staircases you might accidentally place multiple of them because it automatically places them if you already placed one if you click twice and not on the staircase to actually go down so just to be safe i always put only one so that i have an empty hand and i just right click on the staircase and i can go down easily you could see on this floor we did get quite a few iridium nodes so let's see we have already gotten way over 200 iridium ore and it's still only 820 floor 134 this is probably the deepest we've gotten yet I can't remember exactly what floor we've gotten down to. I think it was like floor 139 maybe. So we'll definitely pass that today. And we're just going to speed through many of these floors because it's not too different from what I've been doing before. I'm just bombing all the Iridium nodes. And from bombing, usually since we have pretty good luck right now, we're going to already get a staircase. But if we do come across any not so great floors, I will go ahead and skip them. But once we get this far down, there's just so many Iridium nodes that we'll just be able to get plenty of staircases. But obviously that one, like the dinosaur, we're going to go ahead and skip over floors like that. We're continuing down, and we only have a few Mega Bombs left. We do have plenty of Gold Ore, but we only have two Solar Essences left. And each Mega Bomb costs one Solar Essence, one Void Essence, and four Gold Ore. So we are getting a bit short on mega bombs i guess we can craft some regular bombs and some cherry bombs if we really wanted to but if i do see some mummies i should probably go ahead and slay some mummies blow them up to get more solar essence because we are running quite low pretty strangely here we got a few not so great floors that i had to skip over with my staircases but right here the small floors we can usually just bomb them and this floor right here, there's a hole already waiting for us. I will go ahead and bomb that Iridium just because it's right there on the way. Go ahead down the hole now. And I do start to wear the Lucky Ring a little bit now. So my thoughts are whenever I want to pick up items, I'll put on the Iridium Band, obviously. That makes sense. Whenever I want to slay enemies, it's good to have the Napalm Ring on if there's rocks nearby. Also, the Lucky Ring isn't a bad idea because it'll increase the chance of loot and when going down floors it's good to put on the lucky ring since we can get better floors meaning like treasure floors or floors with more ore nodes and of course when actually destroying nodes and whatnot we'll have a better chance of getting a staircase or a hole with increased luck so that helps with that too and now we're going to go ahead and skip this floor since it's kind of a long floor and now we've got a treasure floor and we get the auto petter so that's definitely very good. This is the only location we can get one. If we were doing the Jojo run, we do get one from completing that storyline, but I'm not too familiar with that. I prefer doing the community center. I find it a lot more interesting and fun completing the bundles than just spending money for everything. But anyways, the auto petter is pretty nice. It's not what it sounds like. So you don't just place it in the barn or the coop and it automatically pets the animals for it. It's actually just an extra bonus on top of already petting them. So if you pet them and then plus have the auto petter, it'll actually be two different bonuses. And if you just have the auto petter, it doesn't just replace the petting bonus. It's actually a bit of a smaller bonus than petting them. So manually petting them is still best, but this will help steadily increase our friendship with our animals even when we don't pet them and when we do get around to petting them it'll help with increasing their friendship level even faster it is starting to get pretty late it's already 1 20 a.m now but we've got into floor 184 look at all this iridium right here we're at 480 we're probably going to end up with close to 500 iridium ore today which is pretty insane 500 from just one skull cavern dive and 11 prismatic shards right now so that's definitely our best skull cavern dive yet and with that we are at the end of this day i know this video just had two days and they were both skull cavern dives but for at least one video for every month 
I would like to show a full Skull Cavern dive and how we improve to have a better dive each time. The next video should have some good progress in fall. We'll harvest our 960 pumpkins and complete some community center bundles, including all the ones for the pantry, which will finally unlock us the greenhouse. I do believe fall day 9 is the earliest the pantry can be completed, with the limiting factor being the pumpkin growing on day 9, unless, of course, items were found earlier from the traveling cart. But without that, I do believe this is the soonest we could have unlocked the greenhouse, and we'll be able to start using it on day 10. And then on fall day 21, you can look forward to completing the entire community center. If you're looking forward to the rest of fall, please consider subscribing, and please feel free to leave a comment with what you liked, or with any suggestions or questions. I also encourage everybody to leave a comment with their best or favorite tip or trick for Skull Cavern Dives. I look forward to hearing from everyone. As always, thank you for watching, and goodbye.